Finally made it. It's hot. It's sexist. It's time to begin. I feel it in my skin. This change in the wind telling me to live again. There's a world full of wonder I've never seen before. I'm staring out an open door. I don't want this anymore. It's time to be free. Time to believe. I got my plan part, but the rest is up to me. And I know it won't be easy, but it needs to be done. Cause you never know what's just around the bend. This ain't where my story ends. got to Fort Worth rush hour and I feel like that everyone lives outside the city and then like there's people they all work in the city and then they're on the freeway and then everyone's like yeah it works over and then they're all like we gotta get to the freeway and they're like yeah it works over and then they get there and they're like Whoosh! and then traffic's like Ee! and everyone's like oh and then there's guys that are like come on Continue straight. I think I just summarized rush hour traffic. Like, yeah, oh, it's moving. Oh, hey, there's a hole there. Maybe I can squeeze in between that big rig and that RV. Yeah, I got like three inches to spare on here in the front and the back. Yeah, that's rush hour. They said it'll be fun. They said it's actually not that bad. It's a little humid. It's like 90, 93 degrees. We're at the what's the name of this place? The Texas Ranch RV Resort. Yeah, it's pretty nice. I didn't even have to level. Just pulled in. All I had to do was level from front to back. It was really nice. Same as yesterday. Same with yesterday too at the Tucumcari uh, KOA. That was nice. It is a super nice resort. Long drive. Seven hours from Tucumcari, New Mexico to here. So it's a pretty nice place. We got a pond. And then we are right across from the swimming pool. Right there. You ready? Back at the Texas Ranch RV Park. Day two, last night. It's like a blast furnace out there. June bugs are flying around. Piper is confused because because her mama is gone today. Anyhow, so Michael and I, we went up to Arlington, Texas. 
which was about a half hour from here. He got an early birthday present. I don't know how we're gonna bring this thing home, but we're gonna figure it out. It is a full stand-up arcade machine with all Neo Geo SNK games on it. Stand-up home arcade system with a light-up marquee. Now, personally, I remember walking into the arcade and seeing the SNK Neo Geo machines and play stuff like Metal Slug and King of Fighters, and uh, there was a couple other uh, SNK games. I can't remember them off the top of my head, but so we picked this up. We didn't get the full stand for it because that thing was heavy, and I didn't really want to take that back across five states or how one two three four five six states it's kind of actually not really that big so we can store it in the back in the bunkhouse and then uh, we're gonna get the stand for it later when we get home because it was just really heavy and it'll make it it'll make the top of the machine up here so it'll be like having a real arcade machine all right we are one in. mile turn okay. right thanks master chief we're in alvarado texas and we are heading towards Massey's Barbecue, uh, the lady at the Texas Ranch RV, Texas RV Ranch, whatever, um, said this was really good barbecue. And so we're gonna check it out and uh, we'll be there in just a minute. Alvarado's actually, it's a pretty small little town. What's the population of Alvarado, Texas? About to find out. In 2020, the population of Alvarado was 4,739. Nope, not very big. Destination reached. Well done out there. I'll be ready for the next mission. Just wait. Just finished eating at Massey's barbecue. The owner Todd Massey was amazing. He's just an absolute when you think of Texas hospitality, that guy Todd who he shakes your hand, he walks you through the whole how they do the menu, and you get a it's all a la carte, you can get whatever you want. It was really good food, really good barbecue. I would highly recommend if you're in the Alvarado, Texas area, stop in to Massey's barbecue and uh, make sure you come in and uh, Todd will probably be greeting you right at the door. Well, we're on our way to Camping World because I got up this morning to dump the black and gray water and my handle to the gray water was completely missing. I think this will do the trick. I only need this part and this part, so we'll find out. I think while I'm here, I might get a bug screen. You've seen how Maddie reacted to a dead beetle in the car, so we better get a bug screen. Okay, so you enter a camping world to get a replacement valve handle for your gray water tank, and you end up with a good SAM membership. All right, back to the RV resort. On June 8th, 2022, the car wash in Alvarado, Texas became self-aware. Within 10 years, the car wash has taken over the world. All right. The truck's washed. Now we can go home and take care of the dog and do some laundry. And then I got to pick up Michelle and Maddie from the movie set. In June of 2022, we made this journey to Texas in order to be a part of the show, The Chosen. We made our own costumes and jewelry according to the guidelines we were sent by the production team. It was a pretty amazing experience. Thousands of people gathered together from around the world to be there for this event. In order to tell the story of Jesus feeding a crowd of 5,000 with five loaves of bread and two fish. It was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity that I'm glad we got to be a part of.
in the meantime, I went to Camping World. Got this anti-bug tent because somebody is scared of June bugs. Three bugs bled on me in one day. There was one bug, it was super small. I still terrified. Literally that big and it landed on me. Second we pulled it, it just landed right on me. I started screaming. Last night, I had June bug land on me. So what you're saying is you couldn't live here? I mean, I could. It's only the heat and the bugs I don't like. Oh, so you can't live here. <laughs> I don't mind the heat. But I'm with Madeline on the bug thing. I don't like, I don't like flying bugs. And those June bugs are pretty big. <laughs>